Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Waves. What's going on, folks? In this vid, I'm going to be talking about Pythagorean triplets. That is, three numbers, integers, which satisfy this condition a square plus b square equals c square, where c is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. What are those numbers that can make a Pythagoras right angle triangle, right? Now, if you see a square plus b square, c square, c square is the hypotenuse, right? So, first, we need to try out all possible combinations right so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna try and print these numbers from 0 to 10 I mean between 0 and 10 what are those three numbers that when added up and squared actually give me this value c squared so let me go ahead and see that so first let's print all possible values of c it's pretty simple for that I'll use a for loop I'll say for int c equals to 1 c less than equals 10 c plus plus and I'm gonna simply print it print that out by saying system dot out dot print ln you guys know what this is going to print control s shift f6 as you guys can see it's going to print numbers from 1 to 10 with a new line after each right now this is the all possible combination set for c so now let's go ahead and see what happens when you combine b and c so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put another for loop by saying for int b equals 1 b less than equals 10 b plus plus now for each value of b i want all 10 values of c for that I'm gonna put the for loop of C inside the for loop of B, right? Remember, B is 1, C is 1 to 10. B is 2, C is 1 to 10. B is 3, C is 1 to 10. You get the point what I'm trying to say, right? So now if you put B over here and you put a space over here, right? And you put C, let's see what happens. Control S, Shift F6. As you guys can see, this is giving all possible combinations. B is 1 and then C goes from 1 to 10. Then B is 2, then C goes from 1 to 10 and so on, right? So now let's print all possible combinations of A as well. That is for one given value of A, I want all the values of B and I want all the values of C. For that, I'm going to add another for loop outside by saying for int A equals 1, A less than equals 10, A plus plus. So now this is what happens when you see a triple nested for loop like this. Don't worry too much about it. Just think about this simply. If A is 1, this is going to go from 1 to 10. This is going to go from 1 to 10. All right. Then this is going to go for 1 to 10 for b equals to 2 then for b equals to 3 this is going to go 1 to 10 and in short you're finding all possible combinations for a b and c all right every value of a every value of b every value of c with each other let's go ahead and run this by putting a over here and see what happens Control s shift f6 now if you guys notice let me maximize the output for you guys okay now if you see a is 10 then uh, b is 10 c is 1 it goes from 1 to 10 right now if you see b changes to 9 but a is still 10 right so in short, we are trying to find every possible combination of A with B and C, all right? So now at this point, our program is very simple. What we need to check is we need to print all those numbers that satisfy this condition, A square plus B square equals equals C square. Do they do that? Then they are Pythagorean triplets. So let me go ahead and put an if condition for that. I'll say if A into A plus B into B equals equals C into C, then print those things. Otherwise, don't print, right? Control S, Shift F6. Let me go ahead and run this. Now if you see the output, it's pretty small. A is 3, B is 4, C is 5. Check this out. 3 square plus 4 square is 25, which is also 5 square, right? That means 3, 4, 5 can form a right angle triangle as per the Pythagoras theorem. The same way goes for 6, 8, 10. So if you want to put uh, Pythagorean triplets between 0 and 50, simply change the size to from 10 to 50, right? So this is one of the ways you can do the Pythagorean triplets, but this is very inefficient. I will show you why this is inefficient and I'll show you a better method in the next vid. And this is probably our last vid where we are going to talk about simple Java programs. After this, we are going to be jumping into strings and we are going to be talking about arrays and stuff like that, alright? So I'll see you guys in the next vid. I hope you like what you saw if you did please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day